In the last Rubik's Cube video, you guys basically spammed me to put on LEGO Ideas. In case you didn't know, LEGO Ideas is a website where you can submit your own creation and if it gets 10,000 supporters, LEGO will consider it an actual set. So I need to make a few more improvements before I submit it. And trust me, I'm going to make this cube good enough so that you'll want to support it on LEGO Ideas. So let's get to 10,000 supporters. Link in the description. So we're going to start with the core and this first suggestion is to replace this piece with a more stable one. And that was pretty easy, but I can assure you, it gets much harder than this. The next problem is that tiles on the edge pieces can slide up and down. So let's fix this as well. So basically the issue is, if these two tiles are both perfectly lined up, this actually bends to the right. If we try and put in two, but you can see it gets stuck, I move it up a bit. And that's what I did in my last video. However, if I wanted to make this an actual Lego set, this would not be practical for instructions. So it's time to fix it. Thank you to Archeon for the suggestion. He said to use these one by two vent pieces instead, so I guess we'll try it. Wait, at first I thought this hole isn't even in the center, so it won't line up. But then I realized, yes, it doesn't line up, but that's exactly what I need. This tiny gap actually makes the piece not collide with the triangle, but at the same time, it's still perfectly tight in the cube. So round of applause. So I guess that's that problem solved. If you look at an actual Rubik's Cube, you can see that there are these curves, which means if the face is a little bit turned, you can still turn the cube. A lot of you suggested using circles for the curves, but the edge pieces could fall out, so I needed to find a better piece. Okay, so I'm looking for curved plates. Okay, here we go, plate round. What about this piece? Let's order, let's just order 100. Cool. Okay, I bought some in various colors. Now let's test it out on the cube. Kind of looks ugly. So instead, we're going to use these 2x2 two two curved tiles. Much better. Okay, so it's time to fix the corners and I'm going to just replace them with curved. So with this Rubik's Cube, you can see that only at the top corner is curved. Okay, so you can see here we have 2x2 two two circle tile and we only have this corner curved. Okay, now let's test out the edges and corners. It seems okay, but there's still a problem, which is that pieces can still get stuck, and that is because Although these are curved in the corners, the middle part is still straight, which means we need to somehow make this curve. So let's try removing stuff we don't need. It's still good, but there's this I'm going to replace with a one by one stud. Yes, I'm no longer calling it a one by one flat plate because you guys comments, and this looks good. So let's try it. And then I suddenly had an idea, an idea which would revolutionize the cube. The idea was to put the triangle tiles on the corner pieces Maybe it would fit, and maybe it would turn. I didn't know what would happen, but I was going to test it out anyway. And here's what happened. Oh, that's perfect. Look. Super tight. Yeah, well, it did work. Cool. This is a bit loose, so I'm just going to quickly change it to a 1x2 instead. To keep the stability. One cylinder. All right, I guess it's time to see how much better this thing really is. While you enjoy the sink, the tutorial will be posted on my second channel and the pieces list will also be in the description there. And remember, if you think this Rubik's Cube is good, then support it on LEGO Ideas. We're gonna try and get this to 10,000 supporters and LEGO will actually consider this a set. It only takes a couple of clicks, so please click on the link in the description to support this. Yeah, well, it does feel quite loose. That's not too good. Oh, well. Nothing falls out. This could be okay. Alright. Oh my goodness. It's so smooth. Wow. Now I guess we're gonna do the second test, which is to see if I can solve from scramble. And I've learnt my lesson because last video you guys told me that. If I just put in pieces randomly, there is only a 1 in 12 chance that it's solvable. I'm going to do it properly. Oh, 
All right, so we've got the cube. Now I just need to scramble it. All right, so we're just gonna make some random turns. Uh, some of you guys suggested like some pre-arranged scramble, but but I'm not a speed cuber, so is there really any point? Okay, now we've got our scramble cube, and you know what that means? It's time to attempt to solve it. I'm gonna see how fast I can solve it, but I'm I've never done speed cubing, so just a quick disclaimer: my strategies to solve the cube are not very optimal. But either way, let's get started. And I'm gonna start just by solving the white cross because all speed cubes solve the white cross, don't they? It's not bad for a speed cube, you know. Feel like Zemdegs if you're watching this. This could be your new ultra fast, new technology speed cube. Yeah, but um. anyway, the cube is very smooth. The good thing about it is that I don't have to do so many edits because I don't have to cut anything out, right? All right, so I'm just gonna put this corner in. Look at these algorithms, so smooth. And as soon as I say that, but yeah, look, it's just pretty good, I have to say. Okay. Okay, last couple of turns and we're done. The white side. I guess we'll just get the yellow corners in the right place. Rotate. Uh, well, I think I just messed it up. Okay, I finally resolved the white face. So now we can actually attempt the yellow face. Hopefully these corners are in the right place. Okay, so now we've got all the corners in the right place. They just need to be the right orientation. Okay, and last turn. And we're done. Now we just have to get the edges into place, I guess. So my method is to go down. Oh, this is confusing as. Then. And then back up. And then repeat. Oh, all right. Well, that's pretty much most of the cube done. Now I just need to work on turning these edges. Twice around. Then, then back up. Okay, now that all's left to do is these last two. Okay, look here, and then that's it. Solved it. Whew, how long did that take? <laughs>